Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is PJ. Welcome to the Thursday morning devotion of Clontarf Beach Baptist Church. Last Thursday, I talked about the concept of people of peace in the Bible, as it is mentioned in Luke chapter 10, verses 5 to 7. And as we discussed, that according to Jesus, there will be certain people who, will, who we will encounter in our lives who are more open to Christ as compared to others. And Jesus says it is this certain type of people whom we should invest more of our time, energy, and resources on in building relationships with and really making the effort to help them know or grow in their relationship with Jesus, in the hope that they too will become Christ's followers who will in turn also help other people to know and grow in Jesus, until all nations are reached for Christ. All that is of course part of the broader topic of discipleship that I have been talking about for a few weeks now, that Jesus has commanded all of us each and every one of us who believes in Him as our Lord and Savior, to go and make disciples of all nations. And because discipleship making is a big task, we've began to look at how Jesus Himself modeled and taught through His life while He was in the world how to go about making disciples effectively. And one of the concepts Jesus showed us to help, uh, to help us in making disciples is to look for and to focus on people of peace. Again, these are people who seem to like you, listen to you, or even serve you in some ways. Because these are the people who will uh, more likely be open to Jesus. Now last Tuesday, just this week, last Tuesday, as the pastors were talking again about discipleship, something really struck me about my mindset regarding finding and looking for people of peace. And God convicted me. He made me realize that although I have already heard about the concept of the people of peace before, in my mind, I was being held back by the notion that there were not many people of peace around me. I used to think, and I will probably still struggle with this thought from time to time, and despite of genuinely wanting to help people to get to know Jesus, I used to think that it was very hard to find people who will be interested in Christ. That there are not many people in the world like that. Especially here in Australia where most people are self-sufficient and busy with their fast-paced lives. But thankfully, through the help of the other pastors, God reminded me again that Luke chapter 10, verses 5 to 7, where Jesus teaches his disciples to look for people of peace, is actually in light of Luke chapter 10, verse 2, where Jesus said just a few verses earlier, and this is one complete thought, that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. So what was in my mind wasn't true after all. It isn't true that people of peace or people who are wanting to know and grow in Jesus are scarce or hard to find. That simply isn't true. Because as Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful, but it is the workers who are few. Meaning there are actually many people out in the world right now and even all around us who are ready and wanting to know Jesus. But most of, most of them just don't know for themselves that it is Jesus whom they are really seeking for or actually longing for in their lives. And according to Jesus, they are there and they are many. And what is needed right now are the workers or Christ's disciples who will actually do the work to help introduce these people to Jesus so that they can know Him and then that they would also grow in their relationship in Christ such that they too will begin to help others 
get to know Jesus also. So as Jesus said, there are many people around us right now who are people of peace, people who are actually wanting to get to know or grow in Jesus. I mean, some of them, again, as I mentioned, they may not be aware of it, of it yet. And because of that, they also may not be too obvious to spot at first. As Jesus also said in the next verse, in Luke 10, verse 3, that he is sending us out like lambs among wolves. But that doesn't mean that these wolves are not wanting or part of the harvest. So people around us, there are really many of them who are part of Jesus' harvest, even if it's not too obvious. So sure, our, our neighbors may seem to be like hard people. You know, sometimes we encounter those kinds of people. Maybe our co-workers don't seem interested in anything related to, to faith. Or maybe uh, you have friends or mates in uni, especially in uni, who present themselves to be atheists. But if any of these people like you, if they listen to you, or if they serve you in some way, then these people are potentially potentially people of peace whom you can build relationships with with the intent of helping them to know and grow in Jesus. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. The issue is not that there are not many people who are ready for Jesus. Rather, the issue is not many Christians, and I'm talking about me and you here, not many Christians are willing to do the work to bring the harvest in. So this morning, and this is a challenge for myself, of course, but I also encourage you, there are many people around you who are part of Jesus' harvest. And Jesus is calling you and me today to personally help in doing the work to bring these people closer to Him. Now, I'm not saying that you have to go hard and share the gospel outright to everyone who likes you, listens to you, or serves you. Maybe for some people that will be appropriate, but not everyone. In fact, for most people around us, even if they are very good to us personally, you know, they, again, they like us, serve us, uh, or listen to us, if they're very good to us personally, but in some way or aspect of their lives, they may still um, be like wolves who are seeking only what will satisfy them. So they are; they may be currently uninterested in Christ because they are seeking satisfaction in other things. So we first have to develop our relationship with them and we need to keep praying for them um, intentionally and even intensively. And also keep praying for ourselves too regarding how Jesus wants us to relate to them such that slowly, or maybe for some it will be fast, uh, for some it would be faster than others, that we would be able to bring them closer to the Lord of the harvest. And that is Jesus' work for us, to bring people closer to him, to our interaction with them. Remember, Jesus is the Lord of the harvest, and we only point people to Him by how we love them, by how we relate to them, by how we care for them. Again, the harvest is many. People are needing Jesus all around us. We shouldn't think they aren't there, because they are. They are many. What we need to do is to pray for ourselves and for them, and to do the work in helping the people get closer to Jesus. So if you know anyone, if you know people who like you, who listen to you, or who serve you in some way, then pray to Jesus and ask him how he wants you, how he wants to send you out personally. To bring these people closer to him. It can be many different ways. Maybe all you have to do for now, maybe all that Jesus is asking you to do for now is to start praying for someone. 
or maybe Jesus is asking you to go out for a coffee with someone you know to, to build relationship maybe Jesus is wanting you to ring up a friend and check how they're doing just catch up with them or maybe Jesus is asking you to ask someone to join your family for lunch or some dinner and again these are all aimed at either helping them get to know Jesus for the first time or helping them to grow in their relationship with Jesus such that they would be encouraged and that they too would want to help other people that they know to get to know Jesus also. So Jesus is calling us to do the work. So let's do that. Let's be intentional in finding people of peace so that we can help them to get to know or grow in Jesus, the Lord of the harvest. In closing, let me just pray for all of us. Let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word once more this morning. We thank you for reminding us that the harvest is plentiful. There are people all around us who are needing you and who are actually wanting you, desiring you. Some of them maybe don't realize that yet. Maybe they're seeking satisfaction and fulfillment in other things in this world, the temporary things of this world. But really, they are longing for you. So I pray, Lord Jesus, that you teach us, help us to realize how you want us to send, how, how you want to send us out into the harvest field. They are many, Lord Jesus. Help us to recognize who they are and who you want us to really spend more of our time, our energy and resources on. People who want, whom you want us to build relationships with so that we can help them get to know you or get to know you better. Help us, Lord Jesus, change our hearts, change the way we think, and give us the desire and the ability to reach out to the people around us. Help us to love like you love and help us to have a heart for people. Help us to see people through your eyes. Again, I just commit ourselves to you, Lord. We thank you that you are with us. We praise you, Lord. We pray all of these things. In your mighty name, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks again for joining us, everybody. And again, just the usual announcements. There are short weekday devotions from Mondays to Fridays at 9.30 a.m. And then on Sundays, there are full uh, sermons that are going on at uh, 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning, then 5 p.m. Uh, Sunday e evening. They're broadcast uh, here on the Facebook page of Guantar Be Beach Baptist Church. And also on the second and fourth Sundays, there are actually live services, that, uh, smaller live services going on um, for the Filipinos. Everybody's actually welcome to join. You don't have to be Filipino to join them. But at the moment, there is a maximum of 50 people. Only 50 people can, uh, can be accommodated because of the COVID-19 restrictions. But this is also broadcast on Sunday. It's broadcast live on Sundays. Uh, every second and fourth Sunday of the month, 11 a.m. And again, I encourage everyone, uh, consider how God is wanting you to reach out to the people around you, maybe your friends in church, maybe people around you um, who God is wanting you to help to know Jesus, maybe for the first time, or to help encourage or grow in their relationship with Christ. All right. Thanks again. Bye.